Okay, so I'm going to do kind of a how-to. This is um, AutoCAD Civil 3D. And the reason I want to show this to you is because we're doing horizontal curves, vertical curves, and we're going to be doing earthworks, and we're going to be drawing contours. So this is kind of an introduction. Um, all the, the math and the formulas we're doing behind it, um, if there's a problem in CAD, if you have not learned all the steps and the math behind all the and you know, the ways that we're figuring horizontal curves, vertical curves, you wouldn't even know it in CAD. So I'm going to kind of explain a little bit about CAD. It's a little different than your basic CAD. Here are ribbons across the top, and the main rib ribbon I work with is the home ribbon. All right, so I'm just going to kind of zoom in and let you see the pink outline is my property. And that's the property around um, the subdivision. And then the little dashed lines, these are my contours. And what these are is they connect equal elevations and it's usually above mean sea level, which is zero. So this is in Moore County, so it's about 390 feet above sea level. So you see I got some 400. So <clears throat> I want to put in the center line of the roads. So that's what you would call the horizontal curves that we were doing. And it we put it put station numbers and it do a PC and a PT. So that'll be the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create and that's called an alignment. And I'm gonna do alignment creation tools. So hopefully we'll get to play with this a little bit at the end and sh show y'all how to do it. And I typically um, call whatever the street name is going to be and let's say this is Hidden Oaks. I'm going to call it Hidden Oaks. And you can put a description and then if we want to do some design criteria it's got our design speed at 60 miles an hour. So this is my subdivision. I can drop it down. And then it's already got some of the ASHTO and um, some information put in CAD. So I'm going to let it, it kind of go with what they got. And then I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to draw, so you could do some spirals. I'm just going to draw tangents with curves. And right here's the, the street coming in. This road was called Prince's Gate and it was the existing road. So. <clears throat> so this would be the center line of the road. I'm going to put a couple of curves in here just to kind of show you how it will. What I would typically do is put a cul-de-sac here and they could turn around. So it gives me station numbers. Zero, there's one, two, and see how the station numbers are? Two plus zero, zero, three. There's your PC. It put a midpoint and it put a PT. And then the end. And then I'm going to draw a second one um, to come off here and go up this road and we'd cul-de-sac down again. So I'm going to go to alignments, alignment creation tools, and this one I'm going to call Prince Court. And see, there's where it says it's the center line. And I'm drawing stations with curves. And I'm just going to come in. So these are my O snaps. Probably a little bit of a reverse curve in here. So here's all the curves that I put in here. So I zero, one, one plus 45 is my PC. So there's the center line of the, the red. 
All right, so that's kind of like you're looking down on at the sky. Now, if I want to de actually design the pavement in the road, I already set up a surface. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. We're going to draw the profile, and the profile is the bottom part of the page. When I was showing you planning profiles, um, that's going to be under profile, and I'm going to create a profile, surface profile. So there's Hidden Oaks, so I just say Add, I hit OK, and now I have some warnings in here, and eh, hopefully it'll let me do it. Okay, so yeah, it's doing it. And so it's got your alignment name. And then if you wanted to, I normally try to name this Hidden Oaks. And you could give a description, center line. I normally don't change this because I normally um, tweak it when I, when I get it in. So there's the station. It's telling me that the, and it's going to run me through these um, bands over here. It's going to ask what my, the, lo the lowest point I have is 357.42 feet, and there's the maximum elevation. So I'm just going to go with that. Um, and I want finished grade elevations and stations, so I'm going to go with that. And it says create profile feet. So it puts stations every hundred feet. Um, what this is is that's the way the if you cut the you know the side of the earth away and you look at it, you know this is kind of the natural ground. Now if you're trying to drive your car, you're not going to be able to go up and down all these hills, so you want to smooth this out. So if this is my existing ground, I'd want my finished grade to be a little smoother. So I'll show you how I do the, the finished grade. So right now it's asking me to select my profile view. And this is gonna be finished grade. So I'm just gonna let it, and we're gonna draw tangents with curves. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my snaps off for a minute. I'm going to come up in here and then come down. So I'm, I'm wanting to kind of balance the cut and feel. So I don't want to have to fill in. I might stretch that one. So I'd kind of stopped it there, so I'm going to erase. So if you noticed it put, um, profiles. You always want to draw tangents with curves to kind of smooth it out. And I'm going to come up into about here, and then I'm going to come down, and then I'm going to kind of roll out to the end. And when I hit enter, it's going to give me um, the curve information, and this is the next part that we're going to be working in the textbook. So I've smoothed out, so this would be the top of the asphalt that they would be driving on. And it's kind of smoothed out, um, it smooths over. There would be your beginning vertical curve. Um, so you'll hear me talk about the acronyms begin vertical curve. It gives you the elevation. These are your grades for the tangents. You'll typically hear these called G1 and G2. 
Um, it gives you um, the length of the vertical curves, 150 feet. So typically cattle set them up for 150 feet. Um, so it gives you that this particular curve I put in here was a crest. So it's, it's coming up. This one dips down. Um, so this would be a sack. Um, both grade, grades are coming down. And I could do the same thing for this second street. So I'm going to show you how I'll do a surface profile for the second street. So again, that's um, profile. And the first one is create a surface profile. And this time I'm going to do it from a second street, which is Prince Court. Um, the surface, I created the surface. So typically you would have to have contours or points or your crew would go out and take points on the job. That's typically how we do it. Um, and that's what we, we had done and I created um, contours. So I'm going to hit add. And then you say draw in profile view. And then it's just going to run you through this information. Typically, I'll just kind of go through and look and make sure station numbers are right. My grades look okay. And now you want to make sure when you, when you put this off, you put it off to the side. You don't want them stacked right on each other. So I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put it down here. All right, so there's the other street. So that one's a big one and a big dip in it. So if we were gonna do, that's crazy. So that's, um, it's lower down here and it steadily goes up. So as you can see, this elevation is around 172 and it goes up to 400 pretty quick. So let me look at that and let's see if we can do, um, Profile, um, one of creation tools. And we always want to draw tangents with curves. Well, I can tell you this looks really um, steep. So I may, we may have a problem with the cab, but I'm going to go ahead and come on up and try to kind of level it out. And we're going to look at DOTs. Okay, so no, that was right because I did remember having some 10% grades. So again, it went ahead and laid out the information for me. And then he, I'm going to show you this also because this is kind of the data that we're going to be doing. So when you're trying to get the grades for the road, so when we want to go out and stake this, this in the field, I want to be able to stake um, the right elevation for station one. Right now I have two grades that are identical um, and I'll change that. And um, when we're we're figuring the grades, as you notice, the, the, the two intersect here, but we want to actually find out what the grade is right here on the curve. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing the mathematical calculations on. How you change that is you click on your bands. There's what they call bands. And when we're looking at the bands, they both say surface one. The second one should say whatever the layout is. Because I called that one layout, but if I would have called it finished grade, it would have called it finished grade. So I normally don't just say, I like to name the street exactly what it is. It's the existing ground or it's finished grade is top of the asphalt. So I'm going to hit apply. And as you notice, my grades have changed. So the left side, um, this one's approximately 398, and this one's 398 and a half at station five. So what 
that was is the red line which is the existing ground which is what's there now is 398 and I'm actually going to have the top of our asphalt about a half a foot higher um, so what we'd stake out in the field for the, the cars to drive on would be the blue line and the dash line was what was there before now I, you noticed I kind of tried to go with the lay of the land and that's going to be the introduction where I'll pick up in the next video of our vertical curves and what we're looking for so that's just kind of a quick intro to you know CAD and how we use this in CAD and um, and just explain what we're doing on paper, how it transposes to draw in our plans, and how engineers and surveyors use this.